you ask me a question and I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. You all know why I'm here. Three, two, one. Welcome to episode 9 of Soccer Works with Daniel Workman, where we take a brief look at how soccer works in the U.S. and around the world. On episodes 6, 7, 8, and 9, we are looking at the four councils of the U.S. Soccer General Council. On this episode, we look at the Athlete Council. For U.S. soccer to oversee the U.S. Soccer Olympic Program, it must be in compliance with the Stevens Act and provide a minimum of 20% representation to athletes. For this reason, the U.S. Soccer Athlete Council gets about 20% of the overall vote in the General Council, but the real concern in regards to the Athlete Council is the makeup, selection process, and loyalty of this council. Whereas the Adult and Youth Councils have representatives from all 55 state associations, the current council is comprised of only 20 athletes chosen by the President and Executive Leadership at U.S. Soccer. There is no public nomination or election process of the athletes by athletes for these 20 positions. The one council, the Athlete Council, with the direct responsibility to represent and advocate for all players has become a council of privately selected individuals who in many cases have shown an unwillingness or inability to fairly represent and advocate for millions of U.S. soccer players. Instead, many of the current Athlete Council members have chosen personal ambition, paid appearances, and job offers at the expense of their fellow athletes. Thanks for listening. Learn more at wrk.mn forward slash soccerworks. Until next time.